Adamawa, Taraba, Rivers, Kebi and Bayelsa are the latest to be added on the list of severely affected states. This has now increased the number of states where a state of national disaster has been declared to nine. Last month, the agency declared a national disaster in Kogi, Niger, Anambra and Delta. The agency says at least 199 have been killed. Two million are affected by the floods. 600,000 of those have had their homes submerged and are now living in displaced people's camps or in host communities. Although the rain season is nearing an end and water levels have started receding in the northern state, more flood water continue to be discharged in several states in the south. I have said earlier on it's receding, currently receding up north, but it's flowing down the south, thereby creating more havoc to, to other areas. That is the reason why we had to declare a state of, um, uh, I mean, rather a national disaster in some additional five, five states. Nigeria's government has already provided $8 million for emergency response in the affected states, but asked for more funding from donors. And the European Union has now provided over $1 million to boost emergency response. The aid also comes with satellite monitoring flooded areas. This funding is uh, aimed at helping the most vulnerable in the most affected states in the sense that we will help providing shelter, we will help providing medicine, and we will help providing basic items of an estimated 60,000 people in uh, three of the nine most affected states. The ongoing floods is the worst after the 2012 floods in which more than 300 were killed. Now Nigeria's government is seeking to find a permanent solution to mitigate the impact of floods on those living in low-lying areas. And that includes resettling settlers in low-lying areas and dredging the riverbeds. Edmond Nyabola, CGTN.